All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, YouTube. This is Rosh, and this is uh, Axe Effects Basics. So uh, this is a video series I'm putting together for all you guys who are programming presets on the Axe Effects 3. So a little about me. I'm a guitar player and guitar tech out here in the LA area, and I build guitar rigs and program guitar rigs for a lot of different clients. Some of my clients include Def Leppard, Melissa Etheridge, Perfect Circle, Steve Vai, Dweezil Zappa, and a host of others. So I wanted to give back to the Fractal community and show some of my approaches to building presets. So I actually had a question in the comments about, hey, can you put together a video talking about the pitch block um, in regards to harmonizing? So uh, yeah, I would be more than happy to do that. So here's a preset I just built, um, and it's just a basic rock preset for now. No reverb, just so we get a basic uh, you know, dry tone. <laughs> And uh, I'm using the Captain Hook amp, so here's some of the settings. But basically, I'm just going for kind of like a generic rock tone, maybe leaning a little towards a lead sound. So, um, okay, so let's add a pitch block. And there's a lot of different areas where you could do it, but let's talk about a pitch block in regards to harmonizing and using scales. So here's a pitch block, and to use the harmonizer, there's two of them. There's the custom shifter, and then there's the dual diatonic. Those are, and the dual chromatic. So technically three. So um, let's start with the dual diatonic because this one's probably the easiest to understand. So we'll go this. And so it brings up this dialog box and basically it's a two voice harmonizer. And so this top row talks about voice one. So think of it as like a second guitar player harmonizing with you. And then this bottom row is for voice two. So what you do first is pick the key that you're in. And so for this um, tutorial video, let's talk about the key of C. And then I'll, I'll just put the name of the notes somewhere here in the video. Um, so when you're playing in this scale, let's say key of C, what you're doing is you're hitting the notes C. And this harmony right here is how many, is what scale degree you're gonna harmonize with the original note. So you're gonna send one original note in here and then this harmonizer is gonna spit out one note at this um, scale degree. So if you have the key of C, it's right now harmonizing with the first scale degree, which would be the note C. So one easy way to use the harmonizer to figure out what note you want is just to play a single note and then move this harmony up until you get to the harmony that you want. So now this harmonizer, since it's on the second scale degree of the key of C, it's going to go to you're now. It's now going to spit out the note D while you play a C. And then if you go to the third, now it's I'm playing the note C, and then the harmonizer is playing the note E. And so what you can do is you can actually hear it climb up the scale if you play a single note. And it goes up 25 notes, so you'd go up through the scale of C major, Ionian major, all the way up 25 notes until it lands on some pitch. And you can go in the other direction as well. So if you want to harmonize below it. So right now, if I'm playing the note C and it's at negative two, right now it's going to be playing the note. I'm playing the note C and it's going to go two scale degrees down. So it would be playing the note a underneath this, then it'll be playing the note G, the note F, the note uh, E, the note D, and then a note uh, B, and then back to here. So eight scale degrees in the opposite direction is an octave. And also you can go eight scale degrees above the original note, and that's also an octave. So it's playing octaves right now. I'm playing a single note, but it's playing the octave above it. So it takes a little bit of um, understanding of like some music theory to understand what note it's going to be playing. So here's how you do this. I'll put this at one. First, you find the key that you're trying to harmonize in. So in this case, it's C, but let's go to the key of G. I'll demonstrate. And then what you do is you pick the scale degree and or the type of scale you want. So these are all the different scales that it can come with. So Aeolian, Blues, Chromatic, Custom, 
And when you pick the custom, you go in here to pick a custom scale, but we'll talk about that in a second. All these different scales that you can use. So, for example, if we play in the key of G major, or actually, let's go to the key of E, and then we use Aeolian, which technically is also called minor. Now it's going to play the notes in the E minor scale. And again, you pick the note scale degree that you want. So the, the notes in the key of E minor are E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E, right? And so if I want the note G to be harmonized above my original note, or at least you know three notes up from the scale degree, you would go to the third. So you'd be harmonizing in thirds right now. So you can do that kind of like Iron Maiden thing. Right? Um, so, the, or if you want to harmonize in fifths, so this would be basically playing power chords. So I'm playing the note E, and in the harmonizers, playing the note B. So if I go up the scale, it's just basically playing power chords up the scale for me. And the cool thing is it's diatonic, so it'll always stay in the key of E, Aeolian minor. Now, if I play a note that's outside of that key, it's going to get a little warbly. So for example, I'll play the note, I don't know, F. Sounds okay for this type of scale or this type of harmony, but let's say we're harmonizing in thirds. I'll play in the completely wrong key. So I'm playing in the key of E flat minor right now, but it's trying to harmonize in E, so you get these really weird, strange intervals. Okay, so last but not least, but um, this is a two voice harmonizer, so you can set thirds here and then maybe set another harmony here, so thirds and fifths. So now it's going to actually play a full chord. So for example, if I play the key, uh, the note E, it'll play E, then it'll play the third note of the E. Aeolian minor scale, so it would be E, G for this harmony, and then the note B, which would be the fifth note of this um, minor scale. So I set this, and then you also want to bring the level up, and then now I'm going to be playing the note E, and then you're going to hear the note G and B being played by the harmonizer. Let me uh, roll down the volume so you can hear it a little better. So it's almost like I'm playing chords, but I'm playing single notes. So if I take away the harmonizer and try to play that on the guitar, I'm actually playing three notes now. Oops. Oops. A little hard to play those triad voicings in this position, but so, um, that's what the harmonizer in the diatonic mode really does. So um, one thing you can also do is you can pan each harmony note. Right now they're panned straight up the center since it's going into this block and being summed to mono. So if you put this back here, now we have, after the cab block, we can run things in stereo. So for example, you can pan each harmony left and right. So for example, right now the third is going to be played hard left. The harmonizer will play it to the far left. And then if I pan this hard right, the fifth will be played on the far right. And then your um, dry signal will be played right up the middle. And it, it depends on where your mix is here in the balance, as well as how much of the dry signal you want mixed. So for now, I'll just leave these as default. So you can kind of mess with it and see where it goes. So you hear that when I pan this, it actually cleans it up a little bit because now it's uh, spread over the stereo field. And you can actually, it's a lot easier to play with like a distorted tone. And the cool thing is with uh, the new beta, 12.08 beta, um, Cliff Chase, from the CEO of Fractal and all the Fractal team, they programmed um, the tracking for all the pitch blocks to be much, much, much faster. So you can actually play really fast runs. <laughs>
So you see it tracks really well. And uh, again, the harmonies are going to get kind of weird if you play in the wrong key. So I'll play in the key of E flat. But lots of fun. So um, that's your basics in the harmonizer block. Now the delay knob right here just um, sets how quickly the harmonizer actually plays the note. So if you have it zero milliseconds, then it's going to play immediately. But if you have it, let's say, um, we'll do some cool kind of 80s settings. So 375 and 500 pan left and right. So here's what happens. So you can hear that if I play an E note, then on the left side, this will come in 375 milliseconds later and then 500 milliseconds. So you can actually play some kind of interesting rhythmic ideas. <laughs> If you pan them up the center, you um, you can get some also really cool, interesting, interesting ideas. So if I play E, so uh, if you are familiar with like Nuno Betancourt playing uh, "Flight of the Wounded Bumblebee" or any of those kind of songs, um, he's using a delay, and then you can also add a harmonizer to it to add some interesting effects, so. So that's some fun with the harmonized or uh, the dual diatonic block. I will go over some of the custom scale stuff in pitch block and how to use the dual chromatic in the future. So anyways, if you have any other questions or want me to cover any specific topics, uh, feel free to reach out to me, leave a comment below, like, subscribe, do all that, and I'll see you guys next time.